scrimmage here as Driscoll drops the throw and fires this one up. Got him, Josh the Malone. The end zone, Malone. Welcome to Sorry If I Spit When I Speak. The Bengals fell one point shy of a perfect preseason, but really the result is not that important. What I take away from this game is that Jeff Driscoll again looked fantastic, and it seems that he has locked down that backup spot. And part of that is unfortunately due to the injury to Matt Barkley, the knee injury on the roughing the passer, and we really hope that he is okay and he can catch on somewhere else. But I don't see why he would make the roster over a guy that has such high upside as Jeff Driscoll and has performed so efficiently and moved the ball as well as he has. Josh Malone made some big plays in this game. I love his big playability. Uh, on the defense, Malik Jefferson was showing his speed and his tackling ability. Hardy Nickerson as well made some nice contributions. And CJ Goodwin made some good pass breakups deep. Passes that he broke up were very nice. Now, today's episode is very special to me because we have a very, very important and a special guest and that is Sam Glockner. Some of you may remember that we had a GoFundMe for getting puppets. Now the highest contributor was Sam who gave us $165 to seal the deal and finish off the drive and he just made us all so happy. Also because he gave $100 he earned a guest appearance on the show. So Sam really thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me daddy-o. Happy to be part of helping you guys get those puppets. And like I was telling you, I'm really excited to see what you guys end up doing with it and how the show actually evolves once you guys actually have them. I, I uh, really, Sam, I can't, yeah, I can't express how much, what it feels like for someone to make your dream come true, but you have done that for us. But I, I can't help but wonder, you know, if you don't mind me asking, how did you find our campaign? Like, did you see some worthy cause somewhere on Facebook or something, and then you try to enter the address of their GoFundMe and it accidentally took you to ours? <laughs> <laughs> well, so good question, I guess, but uh, I guess... I had been following your guys' channel for the past couple of years now, and especially now that we're getting into the preseason, I've been watching basically all your guys' videos every time you put them out, and I saw a reminder that you guys had the GoFundMe going, and I had pretty much decided a couple weeks ago that I was planning on contributing to it. Uh, when I finally got around to it this week, I noticed that you guys were so close to actually getting your goal. And originally I was going to donate maybe a smaller amount, but then I was like, oh, they're gonna be so close. And so I, I decided last minute to actually pump it up a little bit to try and help you guys reach your goal. Like I said, I was super excited to help you guys out with this. And I've been kind of keeping my eyes on that GoFundMe for a while. Um, I was just really happy to help push you guys over the edge there at the end. I, I really appreciate it. And I assume that you have a Fortune 500 company or something that you're able to <laughs> drop that kind of... No, no. Uh, just I, I just consider it part of my hobby of watching the Bengals. I, I love this team. I love the city of Cincinnati, born and raised in it. Currently living in Columbus now. That's just a minor detail, though. I'll always be a lifetime Bengals fan. I love the content that you guys put out. And I honestly, I think, I absolutely 100% think that you guys deserve getting this GoFundMe done. And I'm excited to see where it goes next. I guess Hoji was right, you know. So this was entirely intentional, your, your GoFundMe contribution. It wasn't the accident. That's, that's, it's crazy. It's, it's yes. yeah. That is just wonderful. Now, Sam, what did you see from the Bengals this preseason that you liked? And what did you see that you did not like? Well, uh... A, probably a lot of my points are going to echo actually a lot of what you guys have said on your videos as well. Uh, honestly, the biggest and most exciting thing for me is being able to see John Ross actually get out there, especially that electric play that he had in the preseason game number three. Uh, I'm hoping that we can see him emerge as one of the more consistent wide receivers that we actually have on the offense. So I guess we'll have to see how that transitions from the preseason into the real season. Uh, I'm also extremely happy with what I've seen from the starting D-line that we have, and I'm super happy that we locked up Dunlap and Atkins for several more years. I'm actually wearing my Atkins jersey right now to kind of celebrate that while I was also watching today's preseason game. Um, as for 
places that I I'm still kind of like a little bit concerned about uh, probably the O line and, and in particular what's going on with the run game when it comes to the O line. Uh, so I'm I'm cautiously optimistic for this season. Uh, I guess I'm eager to see uh, what kind of improvements we make on both sides of the ball. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I see a different attitude in the Bengals, but you know, whether it's not uh, exercising the option on Adam Jones, you know, cutting the fell, cutting a local, which that was the one where is a little bit too edgy in a way, but I mean, just the fact that they're really, really trying. I hope that's why they did this, trying to improve the team. So I'm not sure that they are done with the O line. You know, I mean, there are going to be some cuts. There are going to be some people out there. Maybe they make a move. I don't know. It's a different Bengals organization this off season. You know, starting with you know we had the Cordy Glenn trade. So many things that are just so out of character for them. So I'm kind of cautiously optimistic that they will you know do something to improve that a little bit more. So what is your outlook for the uh, regular season? What do you think they're gonna do? <laughs> well, I can tell you that uh, I I kind of laughed when I saw the predictions that went out. Uh, was it a week or two ago that had the Bengals winning four games? I'm, yeah. I'm I'm optimistic that they're going to do better than that. Um, where exactly? I don't I don't actually know. Um, I you know I'm an optimist typically when it comes to the Bengals, so I'd like to think that they could win in the area of nine or ten games, and potentially more. Like like I said, there's 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 a lot to be optimistic about, especially with how that D line is looking right now. Uh, how consistent can Ross and Boyd actually step up and help AJ Green? If everything goes right, I could see them easily surpassing that. It'll just come down to, well, how do we shore up where the Bengals have their weaknesses? So I guess I would say uh, uh, nine or ten games is what I'm hoping for. I don't, I, right. I, I don't think four is. I think that's way too low. Yeah, well, I won't share my prediction because we're going to uh, tell you very soon. Me and John and Hoji and Joe Goodberry are going to do our season preview very, very soon. So look out for that and I will share my prediction there. But yeah, I mean, the four games, that is almost an insult, you know. It's, yeah, it's, it really yeah. is. Well, uh, Sam, I really loved having you on the show. Thanks, Dad. Uh, all right, you take care now. Now, as you know, we are giving away drawings each week of Hoji and me. And all you have to do to win one is subscribe and leave a comment saying what you like about me or Hoji. And this week's winner is Dr. Bernwald, another person who gave $100. So you should probably see him on the show at some point as well. Dr. Bernwald has actually won five original drawings of Dr. Hoji. Hoji laughs heartily. Hoji wants to sneak a point in. Hoji is very upset. Hoji doesn't want to talk about it. And Hoji seeks permission to speak. All among the earliest images that we use for Sorry If I Spit when I speak in 2013. And as a bonus on the back, he's going to receive two drawings of me. Daddio is surprised to hear that and Daddio makes a point facing the audience. So you can win one as well. All you have to do again is subscribe and leave a comment. Or you can win a starting lineup figure by saying who you like the most. Corey Dillon, Jeff Blake or Carl Pickens. Those drawings are once a month. We will see you when we do the season preview. So long, sweetie pals.